We're breaking down Alabama's junior college signees, and we start with Elliott Baker out of City College of San Francisco. Drew, how big of a get is this for Alabama early in the signing period here? Well, big as he's about six foot seven and 300 pounds. <laughs> so he's a, yeah. you know, the nation's number one junior college recruit as far as guys who actually played in junior college last year. You know, Alabama had a pressing need. They're going to lose Cam Robinson to the NFL draft more than likely. So that's at least one starting tackle spot open. And uh, a guy like Elliott Baker, as big as he is, coming from a successful program that he's coming from, you know, he's going to have a chance this spring to, to, to steal that other tackle starting spot right away. Now, Drew, you said Cam Robinson moving on. How does Elliott Baker fit into the mix here? Who is he up against the competition, and, and what kind of depth are we looking at at offensive tackle for Alabama? Yeah, so you got Jonah Williams, the guy who's freshman All-American, is going to come back at one tackle spot. And then pretty much you don't have a whole lot of experience at tackle. Lester Cotton is a natural tackle who played guard this year. A couple young guys like Matt Womack and uh, Scott Lashley didn't have not played much. Uh, and then they signed some big-time tackles as well, like Alex Leatherwood, a five-star high school player, Jedrick Wills, Kendall Randolph. But when you look at the class, I think Elliott Baker probably has as good of a chance of anybody in this group that I mentioned to be Alabama's, be a starting tackle for Alabama next year.